Hey guys, it's Dan, your host of Dan's Reviews, and today I'm back for another video for today. This one's going to be doing a room tour video of the Dan's Review set and the Walking Dead collection I have right now. Uh, it has been over about a year since I've done this video, so I wanted to do an update video uh, talking about basically everything that we have here in the Dan's Review set and kind of uh, just going over everything. Uh, like I said, I do this basically every year, and uh, you know, I kind of just never got the chance to do it. I was planning on doing this video sooner, but just everything going on with, you know, uh, writing, Walking Dead, stuff like that, just kind of uh, a lot of stuff kind of got in the way. But uh, finally, I got enough time to actually do this video now. So I definitely wanted to uh, kind of uh, just show off everything. I do have some new stuff that's been added over to the, you know, to the collection over the last little while. And I know you guys always love this. So I'll kind of stand back for you guys and show you guys the Funko Pop collection. Um, hey, we're almost at the top. <laughs> so um yeah we're, we're almost to the top we're, we're getting there so uh i'm telling you guys like i i really that's my goal is to hit the top of this wall right here and just have like funko pops all the way through however the funny thing is is that even with that thing uh being as you know like stacked up as it is right there because you know it's pretty stacked up uh I honestly probably still have enough to go even further up the wall uh with these but uh i use this as my background which now you guys can see a different perspective of the background of the videos. Uh, this is what it looks like uh, when it's not, you know, on a stand and, you know, I'm filming, uh, you know, like a Q&A video, a regular video. Um, that's what this looks like. So basically, this is where I usually sit. I've got my chair right here, uh, just random equipment for the channel, stuff like that. Uh, but uh, there's the Funko Pops, uh, which I have, you know, obviously a crazy like wall here of uh, Walking Dead Pops. And they're supposed to be even more. So there's supposed to be like a new Judith. Um, I believe uh, there's a new Negan, Maggie uh carol and uh a new daryl because they do daryl 75 times per year but um that's that so pretty cool um i i really like it we got my red machete here we got my walking dead uh, all out war poster up here another season five poster uh season six poster which is uh not my favorite cover art in the world but i think for a poster it does look pretty cool i think up here i i do like it uh we've got like a exclusive black and white negan right here uh which is pretty cool and then we've got obviously the dan's reviews logo right here and you guys can see me so what's up guys and uh we've got um a season nine poster and then just you know the kind of the rest of the uh, Funko Pops. And then these are kind of some mini posters. I got one for like each series right now. I got one for uh, Trash Beyond. I got one for uh, The Walking Dead. And I got one for Fear the Walking Dead. Uh, and uh, yeah, I kind of just, you know, put them there. I got, you know, some Walking Dead stuff right here. Even a pen for The Walking Dead. And, uh, you know, a little Daryl like uh, uh, plushie, which is kind of funny. Look at this thing. Oh, man. Honestly, this thing like, you know, it's always annoying because I'm usually sitting here in my chair, right? And then you've got this thing right here. I'm usually sitting, and then this thing will always fall over. And it's, oh, it's so annoying. I, I love that thing, but it's like, Daryl just will never stand up. Every time I sit down, when I'm done filming my video, this dude always keeps, like, falling over. So, anyway, that's the story for another day, but, uh... Yeah, and then over here, I got, like, my little bed set up right here, obviously, and then I've got uh, the Walking Dead trade comics, um, you know, just all the way through volumes 1 all the way to 11. Uh, I do have 12. Uh, 12 was there. I don't know what I did with it, but, and then I got 13, and then I got a bunch of others stacked up there and just uh, other random stuff like that. Um, and then we move over here. We got just, again, more random stuff, Rubik's Cube, stuff like that. We got Hopper and Eleven from Stranger Things. I did get these figures for pretty cheap, so I'm like, eh, why not? Um, I like the little Stranger Things base there is there, though. I think that's really cool. Um, and then I got my calendars. Uh, I got a Stranger Things one that I got for Christmas. I got a Walking Dead one. I love my Walking Dead ones. And uh, I got another Walking Dead one down there. So, um pretty cool stuff uh just more kind of random stuff here uh kind of some more uh, funko pops got my jason mask right here more posters in the back my stranger things posters a little hidden but uh you know that's uh that's that uh more you know walking dead posters stuff like that issue 100 of the comics and just a lot of you know random stuff different funko pops a lot of cool stuff like that. I got one of uh, Jon Snow and um, uh, Ramsey from season six. And yeah, just a lot of, lot of really cool stuff. So um, that's that. So uh, we got uh, some more kind of random posters here. We got one of Daryl. We got some of uh, the more like action figure stuff. Uh, McFarlane Toys does not even do these anymore. Not only the five inch figures, but they still don't even do these anymore, which are the, uh, the seven inch. And you got like Negan, Ezekiel, Dwight. Like they were actually really starting to release some cool ones, but uh, they never did. So 
you know, well, at least they never continued, so that's unfortunate. But um, here's the main shelf. You guys have seen this for a long time, and uh, honestly, it has uh, unfortunately not really changed all that much. The only new additions I've really had uh, is this, like, new Walking Dead hat. Uh, the new seasons on Blu-ray, obviously, I always add them to this shelf. Uh, you know, I always add them, and Season 10 will be added to this as well. But it's just... You know, there's no new figures, so it's becoming very difficult to really add to this collection. And, you know, I think this shelf does look pretty full. I mean, honestly, like, for y'all that maybe have never seen this collection, like, you know, when you take a look at it, you're like, okay, this thing looks pretty full. But as a collector, I just, I wish there was new Walking Dead figures. And unfortunately, the popularity of the Walking Dead has gone down in a crazy, crazy, crazy way. So, um... I got some more trade paperbacks right here, some of the more recent ones, like with Princess and stuff. Um, and you've got, uh, you know, uh, I even, yeah, I do have like a little like uh, tiger that I got. Uh, this is not a Walking Dead figure. This is just a random little tiger I got to have for Shiva. And I think it fits in scale pretty well with the others. But we got like Michonne, Negan, Abraham, Glenn, you know, Rick, uh, Daryl on the bike, which that one's pretty cool. I like that one quite a bit. Uh, we got a few others right here, and, uh, yeah, it's just, it's really, really cool, honestly, uh, just kind of, uh, to see, ah, oh, frig, <laughs> I literally, like, set these things back up before the video, I'm not even joking, uh, I don't know what on earth happened here, why they fell over again, but, uh, that's, that's great, great, great job for the videos, yeah, great job, um, Anyway, so uh, apologies about that. But anyway, we've got uh, some more seasons of The Walking Dead, season eight, uh, season four, uh, some other seasons, and uh, yeah, Comic Rick and Andrea, and uh, yeah, you, you guys just don't cooperate, do you? So anyway, uh, we got a few more down here. We got a few other kind of uh, random action figures. Uh, we got Shane in that stupid pose, and just, oh my God, I cannot stand that figure. But um, anyway, we got a few others here, even Gareth here. So yeah, we got like they they did make a lot of characters. And, uh, I did get a lot of them, but yeah, yeah, again, like these figures haven't been releasing for a good few years now. Um, and then we got all the seasons of Fear the Walking Dead hidden in the background, which is what they should be because that's all they deserve. Uh, season five, season four, like I said, all hidden in the background by the Walking Dead in the front. And then, uh, the one season I'm giving credit and I'm putting in the front, I'm letting, you know, I'm letting it be seen, very well seen as season three of Fear the Walking Dead, but with seasons one, two four, uh, four again, <laughs> and, um, season five, yeah, I'm not, yeah, they're just staying tucked back there, and then season six of Fear the Walking Dead, I mean, honestly, I think I'm gonna have to put it the spotlight somewhere, or I'll put it somewhere up here, something, but season six of Fear the Walking Dead, when that comes out, will not be hidden in the background like these, the, that one will be very, very much displayed, um, and then we got, uh, some more stuff here, we got some more, like, uh, these are all, like, my Walking Dead single issues, I have close to every single issue. There's like a few I'm missing, but I at least have one copy basically of every single issue of the comics, uh, which is always what I wanted. And honestly, um, I'm very proud of this collection. I kind of would like to display them better. I just don't really know how because the room's already so crammed as it is. But uh, we got, uh, yeah, some of the final comics here. Like, that's the final single issue right there. Uh, and then I'm sure you guys are wondering why there's two Negan lives. Uh, I got this one at first, the first day, and then they were selling this one for, like, dirt cheap, uh, which is nothing different except for a blue logo on the on the Negan lives. So I'm like, ah, why not? Kind of a weird buy, I'll admit, in retrospect, but um, it is what it is. So uh, we got a Game of Thrones poster is still stored here i still need to do something with it uh some more boxes for some other like action figures and all that cool stuff um and then right here i got like three drawers right here this one's like some uh just some posters and stuff some like random posters i use uh for the set uh we got uh, just some other comics here oblivion song uh that one correct me if i'm wrong that one finished um extremity uh, these are some other random comics from like image and stuff that didn't really go anywhere uh and then the 100th uh project from the walking dead this one's pretty cool. I'm actually going to show you guys this if you guys haven't seen this yet. Uh, it's really, really cool. Uh, it's essentially like some of the uh, the artwork for like some of the cover arts that were never used before. Um, and I think these look freaking awesome. Honestly, if you want my honest opinion, I think these look like amazing. Um, you got a lot of, you know, cool cover arts and stuff. And uh, yeah, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty darn awesome. So uh, we got that there. That's uh, that'll go there with uh, some of the other comics and stuff like that. And then this one right here, uh, again, just storing kind of some more stuff. Uh, we got, like, Here's Negan, uh, the, some more Walking Dead DVDs, um, the Boiler Room, like, Lego building set, which I, like, literally all the pieces for that, like, fell apart a long time ago. 
and I don't even like I can't even put it together. It's that destroyed. So I still got the box. I just kind of uh, just kind of store it in there and kind of just leave it at that, right? So um, there's that, and then um, yeah, that is basically it. Uh, honestly, I mean, I could go into oh, oh, there is one more thing I could actually share. Uh, this is um, some more kind of just artwork and stuff like that here. But this uh, was made by a good friend of mine, uh, DeRosa, Giuseppe DeRosa, uh, who um, basically made this art. So he's got his name on there right there. Uh, that's his Instagram. And uh, basically, he made this little poster for me of all the Walking Dead characters all kind of together and with the Walking Dead logo. So I think that looks pretty darn cool, honestly. So that is the, uh, the room, guys. That is the room, the dance review set uh, after about a year. Uh, that is that. That is what we got here. And uh, honestly, I think um, this room is very... Uh, very much to my satisfaction. Uh, obviously, there's always time to, you know, continue and add more, that's for sure. But honestly, I love it. I love the Dan's Review set. Um, and, uh, oh, yeah. And then, actually, there's the, there's the reminder. Uh, yeah, there's World Gone Mad, the original version, uh, the original comic before it was what it is now. Uh, but, uh, I, I did, you know, that one I really uh, hold special because that's my original artwork. Um, yes, if you guys don't know, World Gone Mad was a comic at first. And I did draw that entire single issue. Am I going to release it? Maybe someday. <laughs> so um, that's that. So may maybe when the show ends, maybe maybe when the show ends, I will show you guys what that looks like inside because uh, the artwork I worked on for quite a bit, but I'm, I'm saving it for a special time, which again, I don't know when that's going to be, honestly, guys. So um, that is that, guys. That is a room tour. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And uh, WGM, double season two premieres tonight. So definitely go ahead and check that out. I you know look forward to hearing all your guys' thoughts on the episode tonight. Um, and that is that. Let me know what you guys think about the room tour. And that is it, guys. Peace out.